I've purchased the Canon EOS R8 Creators Kit. This has been a huge decision for me because I've always been using GoPros Hero 5, Hero 7, and this Hero 10 that I'm currently recording on. And I love GoPros. I'm not giving up on GoPros. I think they're still fantastic cameras. I think I'm going to try this out and see how it looks. I'm hoping it's going to really improve the look of my channel. And I'm really looking forward even for, to the creative side of things. Guys like Frank Carroll, he even uses a GoPro, but I think he's got a Canon camera and he's got real style in some of his films. And I really feel like that creative side of thing is missing for me. Also someone like Gion from the Images channel in Osaka City, Japan, he really inspired me with his R8 street photography. I really would like to do similar sort of things even around my neighborhood or get into my local city and just try my hand at some of that. I, I will never be able to be at the level of those guys, but I wouldn't mind just to try to experiment a little bit and just try to give a little bit of a creative outlet for myself. So this comes with a stereo microphone. I'm going to give it a shot since it comes with a kit. This is the tripod grip and it comes with a little controller too for controlling the camera, which I think could be handy. It also has this remote. I'm going to pull this off if I can. This has this BRE1, it's a little remote that I can use, it clips into the back of that handle. I can use that to start and stop the Canon EOS R8. So that'll be handy and it paired up real easily and it uh, lets me do still shots or start the video recording remotely. So this comes with a kit lens of a 24 to 50 millimeter f 4.5 to 6.3. That's a beautiful thing. You know, I've heard how small it is, but you know that feels like a nice size to me. I really like I like the feel of that. It fits my hand very well. I've got a camera strap, battery charger. Looks like it has swing out. AC prongs to stick directly in the wall, and it comes with a single battery. This is the LP E17. I ended up buying a couple extras of these. I'm sort of excited just to have a day off from work. This is literally my first time using the Canon ever. And my GoPro Hero 10 has been my go-to newest GoPro Hero that I've had. The 5, I've had the 7, and this 10 has been just outstanding. Now this winds are probably making havoc with the audio. And I'm still not used to having a big camera, so I'm I must have to stick my arm out further. And I've got the kit lens on the Canon, which is a 24 to 50. Oh, I still haven't gotten used to all these numbers for the f-stop, the aperture. I want to say it's a 4.5 to 6.5. I can't remember. Anyway, this is all new, and I'm hoping to improve just the video quality in general on my channel. So I finally took the plunge and invested in this Canon. So now I'm going to change the settings to the image stabilization. Um, it's digital image stabilization on the Canon. It does not have onboard or in-body stabilization as they call it. I'm sure the GoPro Hero 10 is doing just fine since that's what makes those action cameras so nice. It's almost like having them on a gimbal whereas the Canons and the bigger cameras like this, often they have to have a reliance on having an actual handheld gimbal. So let's change that setting. All right, hopefully I'm recording properly here. Again, having all this new equipment, it's like learning how to drive. Um, just so many new things going on right now. And I'm hoping that my GoPro Hero 10 is taking care of itself because this Canon, you know, you definitely have to take some more time. The digital stabilization is now set to enhanced. I'm stopped for just a moment, but trying to hold this out here with this contraption, which is really nice. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. Yeah, 
I just wanted to give a comparison here of the GoPro Hero 10 with my brand new Canon EOS R8 with the kit lens. Now I also want to point out, I haven't done anything. I'm all on automatic. Everything's automatic. I've done any, I didn't really even spend a lot of time trying to adjust the audio. I did, I think, turn off the wind reduction, so you're probably having a lot of trouble. I'm going in and out of shadows here into the bright sunlight. It's uh, about mid-afternoon at the moment. have a sunny day here in Michigan for a change. This lens is at the 24 millimeter, or at least I think I am. It can go zoom into 50 millimeters and that um, obviously would be too close. In fact, you're probably too close now, but just wanted to see because the digital stabilization, the enhance crops in to take care of stabilization. Just letting you see the difference here between the two. I'm going to turn this around. We'll see how this looks when we get back home. Kind of a gnarly area here with some brush, but the winds are really breaking off a lot of branches at the moment. So let's go over here to these trees. I see a little bit of a red color Let's try to this is, again this is all new to me zooming in and everything is all new to me so again I don't know if I should be doing I think I have everything at autofocus but this could be kind of comical. We'll see what it looks like when I get home. But I want to keep it real too, so all in all, kind of a comedy of errors. <laughs> Without my prescription glasses, I'm having trouble seeing the screens, but I didn't want to lose an opportunity just to get outside. And as you can hear, I'm way winded. I have not gotten any exercise this winter. Normally we're out shoveling snow periodically that kind of gets me exercise but we didn't only have to do that maybe a couple times this year I got what they call the creators kit and that creators kit comes with this handle I'm using which also turns into a tripod I'll see if I can get a shot of that it's a bit heavy but it's also I've got this GoPro up there as well came with this bracket that comes off the side that also is meant to go with the microphone that comes with this creators kit an external microphone I haven't used that yet. It just uh, might have been good on a day like this because it comes with a, a furry dead cat sleeve that I could have put over that. That would help break some of this wind noise. But at this point, I just wanted to try both of these as bare bones right out of the back seat of the vehicle. Grabbed it, run out. It's kind of a, what do they call it? Kind of a run and gun. I think I always hear these guys on TV talk about. And that's what I like too, is just to be able to just grab it and go and get recorded what you want to get recorded and get home get it, maybe do a little editing and get it posted I just want to get faster at that because uh, my schedule just I work a lot of hours and I really want to be able to do more on YouTube this year and was setting out to do so but it's already been difficult to get videos posted and anyone that does this kind of comes I'm sure it hits that same battle. I'm gonna see if I can prop this up somewhere. I think I'll head back to a picnic table and I'll use this tripod. This kit lens is listed as being uh, a $300 lens, like $299. The other thing is that tripod, I think it's like 130 bucks, comes with a remote. If you bought just the remote, I think it's like 50 bucks. I've seen it on sale for like 40, but it's normally 50. An external microphone, I think another $130, I believe. Oh, and you can buy the whole kit, I think, for maybe 200 some dollars. Just the creator's kit, they call it, with the tripod, the remote, the microphone. These winds are driving me nuts. It's, my hands are freezing, my face is freezing. I'm gonna get this inside. Holy Toledo, that is windy out there. Woo! Like we say in Michigan, if you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes. So, forgive me. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
So thanks for enduring that entire video to get this far, listening to that horrible audio with that wind noise. I should have set both cameras to do wind suppression, and ideally I should have used the external microphone on this R8 with that furry dead cat. It would have been perfect conditions to try that out. But really the point of this was for me to just grab these cameras out of the back of the vehicle, do the classic run and gun as I so often hear these photographers talk about, and just see how they both operate right out of the box, really without any adjustments or settings. I'm running automatic on both cameras. I've put the GoPro Hero 10 up here, so again, we can see how it looks in the house here. Man, it's hard to shake a stick at the overall versatility of the GoPro. Now, I'm looking down here at the R8. I probably could look up here at the GoPro because I've got it right on top of the R8. It's just so we can kind of see in studio, if you will. This is just my dining room. And I've got what is kind of a crazy light. It's not the best quality. It's kind of harsh. So for the cost of the kit lens on the Canon R8, you pretty much can get an entire kit of the Hero 10, or well, what is now the Hero 11, the better one, from Costco, around 269, 289 on sale usually, and it'll have you know maybe a couple batteries, a dual battery charger, and a little case, or usually they have some sort of package deal. And that's what you really have to ask yourself: is that for the price of what is just a singular lens on the Canon R8, you can get an entire setup from a GoPro. And I think the GoPro quality of the video is fantastic, and I think they've made improvements in the audio that it's great. But for me, it's now about growth. I need to get my channel to another level. I need to get my skills up to snuff on using a real camera, if you will, with the settings on video as well as for photographs. And I'm hopeful that this R8 is the pathway for me to do that. I'm looking forward to it. As usual, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate the thumbs up if you've gotten some value out of this. And I would love to have you stick around by subscribing. And as usual, together we'd like to find out what works in real life. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, and stick around to the end here because I'm going to throw up a couple snapshots I made with the R8, all on automatic. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a photographer. I just wanted to see how it looked. So feel free to check those out too. See ya.